Four, three, two, one. Hello, America. Today at the Real Queens of ATX, we are all at the Perry Castaneda Library, also known as the PCL, which is where we all first met. Today is a very sad but celebratory day because we are all saying goodbye to one of our Real Queens of ATX. He is moving, but he ain't going anywhere for the vlog, honey. Isaac is moving away to Chicago and we are all going to miss him dearly. So we thought it would be all proper to give a good send away video. I first met Isaac in the spring semester of 2010. Um, I moved in with a mutual friend of ours and I remember I had met some other bitchy queens right before and Isaac came, Isaac was my neighbor actually right next to my dorm room and Isaac came over while I was like all tucked in bed, ready to go to sleep and start the next day. And he was just like, hi, I'm Isaac. And I was like, oh my God, why are you saying hi to me at like 12 at midnight? Like I'm trying to go to sleep. But he ended up being really nice. And then the next day, it was the last day of class and I was all finished and I was chilling in my dorm room. I was kind of sad and homesick. And I remember Isaac came in to kind of ask me how my first day at UT went. And we chit chatted and then he left. And I resumed watching T reality TV like I'd love. And then he came in right after and he was like, hey, me and my friend are gonna go to this bookstore to look up some scripts for plays. Do you wanna come with? And I was like, yeah, sure. Like any excuse to get out of my dorm room. We went and we ended up bonding over Lady Gaga and jamming out and there was just history. So the first time that I met Isaac was the beginning of the spring semester of my freshman year, which was about three years ago. And so, um, I was with Xavier and we were gonna go study, so we came here to the PCL on the fifth floor. And he was like, oh, like um, some of my friends are there, we're gonna sit with them. And I was like, okay, cool, that's fine. And so we walk up to the table and then it's like, Isaac Demetrius, another basic that I can't remember. And so I think it was just me and Xavier. And then I met Isaac and he was like, hi, my name's Isaac. And so I was like, okay, cool, he seems nicer than the other one. And so like the day went on or the night went on, we were studying or whatever. And at some point, like, we always procrastinate. And Isaac's motto of procrastinating was informing me that he was a um, palm reader. And so I was like, who is this voodoo bitch over here trying to, like, cast spells on me, trying to tell me about myself and my future? And I was like, whatever. And so I was like, oh, yeah, you can read my palm. That's kind of cool. And I was just like, okay, like, what is he going to tell me? But then he, like, saw my palm and, like, told me, like, my life story, basically. So after that, he was just like, yeah, I can teach you some time, and then he tried at one point, and I never learned. Well, I first met Isaac online, because we live in the age of the internet, and um, we uh, use the ancient Facebook chat to talk with one another. And then I first met Isaac in person at the Queer Carnival, and we were all in line to see who could get a condom on a dildo fastest. And, um, Throughout the semester, we really didn't talk that much because I am terribly shy at first, but um, one of the first interactions that we had, he was stealing Red Bull, so I knew that I would like Isaac. So, I want to leave my favorite queens some pieces of advice before I leave. Eddie, do yourself a favor and stop trying to please everybody else. I feel like I have such a soft spot for you in my heart and we've grown so close in the past couple of years and you need to take care of yourself because you are your biggest supporter and when you do, the world is your oyster. You're very talented and very smart and as soon as you stop trying to please other people and start doing what you want to do for yourself, the further in life you're going to to reach for sure. I have no doubt in my heart or mind that I will see you in the near future. So until then, ciao. Tyler, girl, all I can say is keep trifling. Um, if there's anything that I've learned from you, it's that not to take life seriously or too seriously. If we, if I could take a piece of your like super indifferent mindset with me in almost everything I do, then everything I do will be that much better. Not that you don't care about anything, because obviously you do, but 
you are very particular about what you choose to focus your efforts and heart on and I just that's something that I have valued since the day I met you and something that I will carry with me both in Chicago and the rest of my life and I know I will see you again soon too. Demetrius, Demetrius, Demetrius. What to say about you girl? We've been through so much together in the past couple of years and you know when I look at my friendships today I they're there for a reason, you know, and um, I hope you know how much you mean to me, and if I could give you any advice, is to stop the sub tweets, they ain't gonna get you anywhere, girl, I promise you, you have such, such a drive and such a will to succeed, and if you focus that negative energy that you put on your Twitter sometimes, you can get even further than where you already are. I use you constantly as an example of someone who has their mindset on a goal and does what he needs to do to get it. And I hope, I know that that's never going to change. And that is something I will carry with me. Um, so to the three of my queens, this isn't goodbye. This is, I'll see you later in a different city and I can't wait till we travel together in Chai Town. So until then, this real queen is out. Bye. So we just finished filming a really emotional video, and so we're gonna do what we do best. Trifle! And fuck up shit in the PCO. Wait. Why aren't these books in English? Active violence on women's education in Kashmir. These are actually kind of interesting. I don't care, we live in America. <laughs> Girl said be good guys. LA. Oh my God, I wanna die, hold on. Please don't get electrocuted. This is like where we all met, y'all. We spent so many fucking nights here with like Wendy's and snacks. So much Wendy's. So much Wendy's. Like hey, 10.30. Have you eaten dinner? Yeah. I'm going to Wendy's, so I want to come? <laughs> yeah. I'll take a junior vegan cheeseburger with a five-piece spicy chicken nugget and a small french fry. Bye. And then he'll steal a soft drink. Oh my god, guys! We could have been somebody Said you had to tell somebody Let's take it back to the first party When you tried your first mile It came out of your body It came out of your body Running naked down the lobby And you were screaming that you love me This is the last time we'll all four ever be in the PCL together Especially recently Isaac got that fucking degree, y'all. He is out of here. Did you ever pass your math class? <laughs> oh my god, you did. I mean, you got like a B, right? What what credit? I'm missing. Oh my god. Y'all, if Isaac doesn't pass his math class, just be quiet about it. You know, he already got the job. It'll come later, right? Yeah. Oh shit. So we are trapped in the closet. Our Kelly part 65. <laughs> Ooh. Well, PCL, it's been real. Thank you for bringing four of the fiercest queens to ever grace ATX all together. Bye. <laughs> Bye, PCL.